Hello guys, welcome to another episode of IB Electronic World. Today we'll talk, we'll talk about uh, the clock frequency and the header files of the PIC24 microcontroller. So I would like to go through this and explain uh, a bit more in order to understand why I have included these uh, libraries here with the include and, uh, and why we are calling actually these header files. Um, so these brackets uh, mean go to the default searching area and M MPLAB will be able to understand and pick this up. So for instance for the lib30 we have already included these header files into the header file section here and this means you need to include these kind of brackets but if you have created your own library and you would like to go to the directory and find that specific header file you need to use the quotation marks and then you need to write the exact uh, directory of the header file and so now we are going to start configuring the oscillator and we are going to try to make the speed as fast as possible unless if you have energy concerns then you need to reduce the speed for example if you are going to use a battery and, uh, battery and you want to uh, consume as, as soon as uh, less actually power as you can then you need to use the lowest frequency or speed of the, the configuration uh, oscillator. So in order to understand how we can set up the oscillator you need to go to the data sheet always. This is a, a very useful material so you, you need to go to the PIC24 to the microcontroller that you are going to use. In our case we are going to use uh, this microcontroller here, PIC24 HJ128 GP502 and you need to go to the sections table of content and then oscillator configuration and it goes direct to if you click on that it goes direct so um, it's very important to understand this block diagram here so this is a diagram with the, for the PLL, PLL block diagram and this is what we are going to use and what we are using. So the source is the input of the, the crystal external clock or internal RC. At the moment we are using an internal RC, we, haven't, uh, we are not going to use a crystal. Uh, at this point here, the PLL um, pre so something uh, very important by default the internal rc the input is 7.37 megahertz and then it goes to the pre division which can be anything between of 2 and 33 and it goes to the next point which it must satisfy these numbers here 0 0.8 to 8.0 uh, megahertz if you are not going to satisfy these numbers you are going to mess up with uh, the oscillator configuration and uh, as soon as it leaves that it will go to the uh, VCO, which is the voltage control oscillator, uh, which has the, a PLL divider and the numbers it will be between 2 to 513. And then again, you need to satisfy the FBCO. And then the next step is to go to the PLL post divider, which the numbers it should be 2 or 4 or 8. And then the output it should satisfy again this cycle here, which is 12.5 and 80. So I have created a very useful uh, calculator in order to find the frequency that you would like to work on this microcontroller. 
So as I, as I said, the FCY is the input, which is by default. So if you read that manual, you will see that the frequency, the fast RC internal oscillator runs at a nominal frequency of 7.37 megahertz. You need to go, guys, through, through this material in order to understand. And the next is the pre, pre, uh, PLL, PLL pre divider, which, as I said, it's 2 between 33. So in that case, I will use 3, which, um, which it, it's between this level here. So the result of, if I will use 3, I will have as an output on, at this point, 2.4566667. If I will change that number to, let's say, 9, uh, I will mess up with a, with, a different, with a different output on the point here. So I will keep it as 3. And yeah, if you understood that if it's out of range, these uh, this, uh, blocks here, they are going to be white and not green anymore. So in the next point, after the VCO, I have used a 65, which it gives me 159, and again, we, have, we are within the range. And then uh, at the next point to the PLL post divider, we are going to use 2, which again gives us the 80 megahertz, roughly 80 megahertz, which is 40 uh, MIPS. 40 MIPS means 40 million instructions per second. And how we did all these calculations through this formula, this is an equation, which you say that the output here is equal to the input multiplied by the M, which is the VCO, divided by the N1, PLL pre, multiplied it by 2, N2 actually, which is the PLL post. So it's very useful to go through the data sheet all the time and solve any questions you have. It's very easy to understand. And so ah, I wanted to mention also uh, that it's instead of using the hashtag pragma configuration for uh, the frequency, you can go to the header file pic24, you can press control F, and then you can go to PLL and press enter. Actually, you can go and copy that. Go here again, control F, V. And it goes straight away to this section, which is how you can configure um, the the register FOSCL cell. So it's very easy, straightforward. So you can use that word underscore uh, FOSCSEL, and then. We can do that, open brackets, and then we are going to use FRC with PLL, internal fast oscillator, because we want to have the fastest speed up with the internal oscillator. And then open this and copy in, inside of the bracket, which is exactly the same thing as the below. And you can use either. I prefer to use hashtag pragma because sometimes it shows you a warning and I don't like to see any warnings. And yeah, so now we are going to try to configure uh, the oscillator. So very important is to set up, to define actually the FCY, which is the result of this number. So three nine 
three nine nine twenty eight three 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 U L. Uh, what's the UL? The UL is the unsigned long because the number is very big. We need to make sure that it's going to fit into the register. And then, and then we need to create a new function, which is we are going to define uh, the pre. Uh, PLL, PLL pre and PLL post and PLL divider. So we are going to create a new function which we are going to call config lock open parentheses void and then uh, and then you need to define the P L L pre equal and you can use all the instructions you can go through the data sheet and find exactly these bits but in, in my case I will use just from the header file that the reason I have included it's pre it's PLL pre so what they have done here in the header file, they have defined this bit here and which give us the word of uh, underscore PLL pre. So in that case, we don't need to define everything. So actually the header file does everything for us. Similar situation to PLL div and again PLL post so we said number one actually we then said we need to go to the data sheet so if you scroll down you will see the configuration for PLL post for the PLL post we are looking to uh, number two the PLL number two it's the zero so you need to set the PLL post equal to zero and the PLL div is the number 65 yeah and it starts the number two with zero zero so it's 65 my, minus two it's 63 and the PLL pre it's number three, which is one. So that's correct. And then in order to call that function, you need to include to copy this and paste it here and then semicolon. And you will call once the, the program starts working, you are going to start actually execute everything line by line and the compiler will pick this up otherwise if you are not going to include it this function will never uh, called by the main function um, yes and this is how you can send the configuration and by setting all this actually you can just a simple uh, delete that function of the delay and include in it, this is what I said. This is why very cool uh, to add these libraries because you can call this here, or if you want to give 100 millisecond, so you need you can say oops, you can say that you're going to copy this bit here, and you will say 100 millisecond delay instead of having this. Um, so but that's it for today thank you for watching this episode please uh, subscribe and like if you like this video